Hello friends, uh, today we are going to share about uh, mentorship and who is a mentor. And if you want to be uh, successful in any venture of life, be it be uh, in business, in your own business, or you want to have a fit body, or you want to excel in sports, so anything you do, it's very, very important for us to find a mentor. So who is a mentor and where do you find that mentor and how is a, a mentor different than a coach? So we'll be quickly talking about that in this slide. Let's move on. Okay. Now, who is a mentor? Okay. Now, a mentor is a simply a person who is more experienced than you in the chosen field where you are looking for a mentor. So that means someone who is willing to help you, coach you and mentor you who has walked the path before you is your mentor. Okay, so let's take for an example, if you want to excel in your own business, now, the kind of a business what you have, let's say you have a property business. So you have to look for a mentor. That means uh, who will be your mentor? Uh, an individual who has already uh, done that business, uh, you know, um, you know the, in, the, in the property business, or whatever in property as well, there are so many different, different varieties, uh, you know, or different strategies. So which, whoever has done that specific strategy, let's say buy to let or property flipping or service accommodation or HMO or any kind of a property or commercial property, okay? So you, you have to look for someone who has done, so that means who has done or who is already successful in that chosen field. And then that person should be willing to help you to succeed as well. And that person could be your mentor, business mentor. Exactly the same way in your life as well. If you are going through some situation in life, then you can also find a mentor to help you come out of that situation um, who is a person of wisdom and he has uh, you know, already uh, you know, established himself or herself as someone who has a successful, um, who is already successful in that field, in that area, in a domain or subdomain where you want help on or you want to excel. Okay, so it's very very important. Is we first, what is the criteria of find uh, look uh, of a mentor? You have to look for that person who is a, a mentor. That means who is already successful in that chosen field where you want to succeed, okay, in that field, okay, very, very important. And when you are talking about the field, extremely important is that, uh, you know, sub niche or a niche, okay? So that, uh, for example, we gave the example of property, let it be, let's say, digital marketing or internet marketing or internet businesses. There are so many different internet businesses. So you can have an affiliate marketing business, you can have a network marketing business, you can uh, be selling info product, uh, you may be selling e-commerce or, uh, you know, um, physical product, uh, could be any any kind of uh, you know sales you may be doing online. So you have to find out someone who is already successful in that specific subdomain. And then the second criteria is that person should be willing to help you to succeed. Okay, so that's very important. That's a mentor, and then a mentee relationship. Okay. Now, uh, you know, you can call the mentor as guru as well, you know, like uh, this is a Sanskrit word which has been used uh, now, it's been using, uh, been used quite widely in English as well, called guru, okay. Walk the part before you, that person is experienced. So wh what is the advantage of a mentor? The mentor saves you a lot of time. So that means that person has walked the path, that person knows all the pitfalls knows where to uh, where the landmines are so that you don't blow yourself off okay so they just have to they will be guiding you through every step of the way hey john do not do this i did it you know i went wrong there and you do it in this way and you'll be successful that means they will save you a lot of time a lot of money 
and a lot of hassles as well. That means it may be a legal hassle because you may be, uh, you know, about to, uh, you may have an idea which you may get into a trouble. Um, and, uh, you know, with the mentorship, you can save yourself, uh, you know, that trouble as well. Okay. So it's a very, very important aspect of uh, every entrepreneurship journey. And not only entrepreneurship, any walks of life, if you want to excel, you know, um, mentorship is uh, quite important. Okay. Now let's talk about uh, the next one is uh, where do you, where to find a mentor? Okay. V very easy, but you just have to get some ideas here. First thing is Facebook groups, okay, as the best place to find a mentor. So how do you find the Facebook groups? So there are so many groups on your chosen field. For example, you want to um, uh, be fit, you want to have a, a mentor or to help you to be fit, or if you want to succeed in your um, you know, chosen business, you want to, you know, you are looking for a mentor. What do you do then? If you do not know anyone already in that field, you just can go and go look for Facebook groups on that specific topic. You just join the Facebook groups, joining the Facebook groups. There are some, um, you know, private groups, there are some public groups and in the private groups as well, there are certain criteria that, uh, you know, some people say that, okay, you need to have, or you need to, uh, you should have done some courses with them before you, you know, get a mentorship or before you join the Facebook group. However, a lot, a lot of Facebook groups where it's free to join anyone, you know, you, as long as you commit yourself not to spam those groups, uh, you know, with your own advertisement materials, uh, you know, they will be more than happy to welcome you on board there. Okay. So when you join those groups, for example, uh, in your uh, digital marketing business, you, you are looking for a business mentor and that's to, let's say you are into Amazon FBA program. So what do you do then? So you just look for Amazon FBA and then you'll have a lot of groups coming up and then you join those groups and then once you are there so you that group admin usually the admins are the you know mentors or they have the credibility and over a period of time they have gathered some followings those are nothing but the groups so you just uh, join those and just follow your mentors you know so there you'll get a lot of nuggets information uh, you know you can ask even if your mentor may not answer or that person who's the admin may not answer but you'll get a lot of questions answered from other uh, team members or peer members however usually on these groups as well they also offer mentorship programs a, you know, a lot of time it's, it's a paid program. So that means uh, you have to pay because just understand it very carefully that somebody else will be putting their time or his time or her time in your success. Why would he do that? Because he already has business. If that person is busy, so why would he do that? So unless there is a compensation structure inbuilt into it, okay? And that's why, you know, you should not be hesitant to, you know, pay as well, you know, uh, and as a matter of fact, a lot of uh, mentor mentorship programs, one-to-one, -one, or just very successful mentors are quite expensive. And, uh, you know, you can reach out to these people, but in in long run, if you will find that it, these are quite cheap for you, how? Because if a mentor, if you pay a, a mentor and they can uh, get you on board and they can help you to start to make the money right away, just in a few weeks time or a few months time, that means you are saving a lot of years of efforts, two years of efforts, which you could have spent a lot of money and time, you could gain a lot more from this mentorship program, okay? So there are uh, you know, some paid coaching programs where as well, you can find the mentors, that, that means paid coaching, that means, uh, you know, uh, if you Google any specific topic, there will be a lot of um, you know, coachings or online coachings, you will find, uh, you know, that, that means there are people who offer first the free coaching so that people can join them and they see for themselves whether they like it or not and before they commit to a paid coaching program, okay? So the paid coaching, again, um, is uh, something which may lead the higher version of paid, paid coaching program usually is a one-to-one -one mentorship, which is more pricey as well. But hey, you know, um, it's all worth it as long as you are getting the success or they are helping you to get the success, okay? 
Now, another question comes is, what is the difference between a coaching and a mentorship program? The difference is, uh, you know, quite uh, apparent, but quite subtle as well. Okay. Uh, coaching, uh, unlike, uh, you know, mentorship, uh, you know, uh, coaching is uh, kind of a skill based. Okay. So they, the coaching helps you to develop certain skills or develop certain knowledge. Okay. But uh, mentorship is uh, kind of an overall, you know, development. Okay. And uh, coaching usually is, uh, you know, um, most of the time you'll find that coachings are one to many and mentorship is usually one-on-one, one-to-one -on -one, one -one basis. Okay. And uh, usually there is a more, uh, you know, intense uh, personal relationship is involved with a mentor and mentee. But in a coaching relationship, uh, the coach and the coachee uh, do not have that sort of an intense personal re relationship. Okay, so that that is kind of a, you know coaching and a mentorship. They are a bit different as well. And uh, now let's talk about um, uh, you know another aspect is influencer. So you can you can uh, Google on you know, uh, influencers or certain fields and Google will give you a lot of ideas, a lot of data um, about those people who are the legends in this, that field and they could uh, be your uh, mentor as well. So that means you just reach out to them or you know, uh, they are uh, sort of assistants uh, who, you know, who are kind of, uh, you know, take care of their uh, marketing and their diary and all so you can reach out to them and ask for a mentorship uh, you know for them so mentor uh, mentorship uh, you know for you you know with them so uh, these are the few sort of uh, you know nuggets of finding out mentor and who is a mentor and why this is important so if you do not have a mentor very very important that you all have to find a mentor and last but not the least is one person cannot be your mentor in all different uh, avenues of life Okay, what does that mean? So that means the same person, let's say, you know, you are get uh, who is a mentor in your business may not be a mentor for your um, marital relationship. Why? Why not? Because that person may be quite successful in the business, but may not be a successful uh, husband or a wife. Okay, so that means they may have gone through situations. Okay, so that means that person cannot uh, help you in, in, in this sphere of life. Okay, or that mentor may not be uh, a fitness, uh, you know, coach or, you know, may not have any clues of the fitness and you want to gain some knowledge on the fitness and you want to be fit. Uh, but, uh, you know, the person who is your mentor on uh, your business front uh, may not be a mentor in your physical fitness front. Okay. So the mentors are all different. So you have to choose the fruit. The fruit and the trees is the most important aspect of finding a business mentor. Okay, finding a mentor, which may be a business mentor, relationship mentor, uh, could be any specific skill you want to develop, uh, you know, that mentor. So mentor could be a diverse mentors you may have for different aspects or different subdomains or subdomains of your business, personal life in every aspects of your uh, of your life okay so with that we are done and over and out